morning, family in Jesus. This morning, if you want to follow uh, in the Word of God, I will be reading out of 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3 from verse 10. So if you want to follow this morning, 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 10. <clears throat> I hope you had a, a blessed weekend and that you enjoyed the service yesterday. Uh, I hope the Lord through the word of God, unlocked a, a brand new way of seeking him. Amen. So this morning, if you want to follow um, 2 Timothy 3 verse 10, beautiful uh, scripture, the Bible says this, you however know all about my teachings. This is Timothy speaking to the church. You know about all my teachings, my way of life, my purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings. So through this, we can see that there's really nothing that Timothy didn't go through uh, while building the New Testament church. Uh, what kinds of things happened to me in Antioch, um, Iconium, and Lystra, the persecutions I endured, yet... The Lord rescued me uh, from all of them. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. So here, uh, not only Paul give us, gives us this teaching, not only Jesus gives us this teaching, here Timothy comes, Peter gives us the same teaching, is that if you want to be a true follower of Jesus, there's going to be persecution. Um, it goes on in verse 13. While evildoers and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of because you know those from whom you learnt it, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ. And then the very last uh, piece, verse uh, 16 and 17, beautiful, just to end this um, piece that he's writing to the church, so verse 16 says, all scripture. So keep that in mind today, brother and sister in Christ. Not some scriptures. The Bible says all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuke, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work so here timothy teaches us that a, a biblical godly truth that every scripture all scripture is god breathed all scripture and every scripture and all scripture can be used for um teaching rebuking correcting and training teaching rebuking correcting and training so i've always said it that there there simply is no question that we can ask about life where we cannot find the answer to that question in the word of god and here timothy just goes and he supports it by putting it in the bible for us stating that all scripture is god breathed and that if you are looking for scripture for rebuking, you'll find that, that scripture. If you're looking for a scripture for uh, teaching and for correcting and uh, for training, it's in the word, word of God. So as we go into this new week, brother and sister in Christ, this new week of seeking Jesus, seeking that revelation of Jesus, not only the head knowledge, and maybe not even the heart knowledge, but to receive that true revelation of who Jesus Christ really is. 
So as we go into this week with that thought and, and with that uh, teaching that the Lord gave us in our hearts and our minds and, and our spirits, let us also go into this new week knowing that whatever we are going to face this week, and here Timothy started off with it. He, he said that um, in, in faith and patience and love and endurance and persecution and suffering, he said in all of these things, he has been able to stick with Jesus. Why? Because the, the word of God is God-breathed. The word of God is inspired by God. The word of God comes from the heart of God. So it doesn't matter what we face this week. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has already given us the answer here. And because he has given us the Holy Spirit as well, to guide, to guide us, to lead us, to teach us and to remind us of every word that Jesus spoke. Because we are temples of the Holy Spirit and we house the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God will guide us um, in a situation, a specific situation we are sitting in, to be able to find the, the ideal scripture to help us through that. Amen. So um, I was just led this morning to uh, give you this specific scripture to encourage you and motivate you, brother and sister in Christ, knowing that whatever you're going to face this, this week, there is a specific scripture to help you through it, even, even to encourage you in the good that you are doing um, and, and the obedience that you are moving in. So, blessed be the name of the Lord for that. Um, and with that, please just join me in prayer right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you again, Lord, for a beautiful weekend that you have given us, for time that you allowed us to spend with friends and family and and time that we had to draw closer to you and seek you more and more, Lord Jesus, in, in prayer and in fasting and, and in your word, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that this new week that you have blessed us with, graciously blessed us with, Lord Jesus, that we will go into this week knowing that if we truly want to seek you and find you, we can do that, Lord Jesus. That you are not a God that goes and hides so that it is impossible to find you. But that you are a loving, caring, saving God, Lord Jesus. And that irrelevant of what we go through this week, we can find a scripture to help us through that. And we bless you and we thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Lord, um, I pray uh, this morning uh, for Grant that is in the hospital. I pray, Lord Jesus, that the healing hand of the Holy Spirit will touch him. I pray for Colleen, Lord Jesus, uh, where she is busy recovering. I pray that the healing hand of the Holy Spirit will touch her, Lord Jesus, will heal her completely, will, will strengthen her and renew her, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, for my brothers and sisters out there um, who are physically um, ill, physically sick, and maybe even spiritually this morning, Lord Jesus. I pray that the healing hand of the Holy Spirit will touch them and will heal them completely. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you have blessed us with. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We worship you for this brand new week. We thank you and we pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, family, in Jesus. I pray that you will have a blessed week. I pray that you will have a godly week. I pray that the word of God will manifest in you and through you in this day. And that the Lord will bless you with an opportunity to touch someone's life and to display the splendor of God. Amen. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.